Hello, Dave here, inventor of the Vayude, the virtually indestructible USB drive. In this video, we'll be looking at pressure testing. Now, when I first designed the Vayude, I wanted to pressure test it at at least 1,000 PSI, if not higher. Uh, I could have designed a customized uh, pressure vessel to do that, but that would be relatively pricey. So what I ended up doing instead uh, is this. So this is constructed of 3,000 PSI rated off-the-shelf pipe components. Now when I say off-the-shelf, I don't mean something you can get at your local hardware store, but any industrial or commercial supplier like McMaster or Athens Granger should be able to get it. Um, one benefit of this is it's off-the-shelf and it's relatively cheap. All the materials for this is under $130. So most of it is just two inch uh, pipes rated at 3,000 PSI. Uh, we have a 3,000 PSI rated gauge and for pressurizing it what I ended up doing uh, is this. So all this is is a 2 inch cap rated at 3,000 PSI with a hole drilled through it. You have two uh, hydraulic seals rated at 3,000 PSI and a half inch piston that goes through the middle. So to pressurize this what we'll do is we'll fill it with water, we'll put the cap on and screw it on tight and then when we push the piston in, that will raise the pressure on the inside. Uh, to get 3,000 psi, we only need about two and a half inches of travel in order to pressurize it. Uh, there are a few disadvantages of this system. Uh, one is the volume. We can only put, fit two, maybe three values in at a time. If we wanted to get bigger, we'd either have to use a bigger rod, a bigger rod, bigger diameter, or a longer. Uh, which will make it inconvenient. Uh, at some point we'll actually need a proper uh, hydraulic pump to pressurize it. The other disadvantage is it's relatively not convenient. We have to uh, put the cap on every time, take it off to open it. Uh, we could put a 2 inch ball valve on, but 2 inch ball valves rated at 3000 psi are relatively pricey. So for now we'll just do it the hard way. So what we'll do is we'll test one aluminum value at 3,000 psi for one hour. Uh, when we put the cap on, we don't need to crank it really hard. Uh, just normal hand tight is more than enough. So we'll clamp this up in order to put the cap on. We don't want any air on the inside, that'll make it really hard to pressurize. Uh, so when we put the cap on, we'll make sure the piston is about halfway. When we put it on and screw it on, it increases the pressure on the inside a little bit, and that'll push the piston out a few inches. And we'll, we'll use a little bit of Teflon compound on, on the threads. So what I found is it's, uh, getting the pressure vessel not leak was pretty hard, much harder than getting the volume up to leak actually. Alright, so we're good to go. Now to pressurize it, we'll put the piston in and I'll do that on my shot press. Alright, so for pressurizing it, we need to push the piston down uh, into the pressure vessel. I did create a little uh, manual jig uh, to do it by hand with these nuts, but I find it's a lot easier just to use it on my shock press and use the shock press to push it down. Uh, and we'll just push it down until it reaches 3000 psi.
so we're just a, a tad over 3,000 PSI. So uh, I don't see any leaks yet, which is good. Uh, we'll let that stand for an hour and uh, see how it does. So it's been an hour. Uh, the pressure's dropped a little bit and I've pressurized it a little bit more. Uh, that could mean the volume has leaked, but chances are it's just a little bit of leakage in the pressure vessel itself. Uh, so we'll take it apart and see how it does. Moment of truth. And it looks good. No water inside. Bone dry. So that's a successful pressure test at 3000 psi. But uh, how does that compare with other rugged USBs? If you look at the eternal case, very similar in design to the Vayud, it actually fails at under 200 psi. And that's due to a very poor quality seal. The Extreme key fails at a much higher pressure, around 2,000 psi, begins to leak. And finally, the survivor uh, actually implodes the case at around 2,700 psi. So all those are far less than the 3,000 psi or more of the value. So that's it for pressure testing. I would like to test at higher pressures. Uh, the value is expected to fail anywhere between 11 and 14,000 psi. What happens is the pressure pushes in the ends enough, it eventually fails and implodes. But building a 15,000 PSI pressure tester, uh, a little bit costly, but if you happen to have one, just let me know. Thanks for watching.